The Draw Split tool in Bonus Tools is a plugin that provides a quick interactive way of inserting detail into a poly object. So rather than using something like the Split tool or the Interactive Split tool, which requires that you basically click from one edge to the next, to the next, to the next, and so on, rather than doing that one edge at a time, it's much easier using the Draw Split tool to simply draw over the edges that you want to split. Now I can interactively draw over these edges and it will automatically apply a split based on the edges that I cross relative to the, the viewport that I'm working in. You'll notice that it actually only inserted edges or vertices were on the edges it crossed. However, if I undo that and I go into the options for this tool, what you can see is that I can turn on subdivisions and subdivisions will preserve the shape of the, the path that I draw. So if I were to add some curvature to this, what you can see that as I add that, is it's actually going to take a snapshot of that as it crosses over the faces and insert uh, the curve, or rather a vertice based on the curve that I, I'm projecting. Now I can also go in and turn on things like multi-slices. So if I turn on multi-slices, what that would allow me to do is create multiple slices across the edges that I draw across. This will also allow me to quickly insert some detail, but it will also create even subdivisions across the, the edges that I, that I pass or, or cross over. So you can create these interesting shapes, something like this, which would be a little tricky to create with something like the edge loop tool. Now, in addition to creating multi-slices, you can also do simple edge snapping, which would basically mean that wherever you crossed over an edge, regardless of wherever you cross it, it's automatically going to snap to the center of those edges. This would allow me to get really even distribution of the edges that I snap in order to get nice uniform uh, insertion of splits. Now, you can also bias this in one direction or the other. So if I put this at a value of 0.1, and I cross over these edges here, what you'll notice is it's automatically going to snap down to 10% of that edge. Now you can do this with multi-splits as well. If I turn on my, my multi-slices again, and then I, I bias the drop-off power, now as I cross over these edges, it's going to give me a multi-split, but it's going to proportionally offset each of these edges based on the value that I give it. Now lastly, I can use this as a simple knife tool. So if I were to just simply draw across this, you can see it will actually preserve the shape of the stroke. If I hold down shift, then I can basically constrain this to a linear line essentially, and it will essentially split across these. I just have to hit enter, and it will actually apply that. You'll notice it culls from the back side so that it only projects through from one side of my object. That is, of course, an option if I turn off culling, and I go in and now I draw across the surface, you can see that it will not only draw from the front of the surface, but it will also project through to the back, preserving the same shape of the stroke, whether I have curve in the stroke or whether I actually go in and create a linear projection, like so. The Draw Reduce plugin is similar to the Draw Split plugin, but instead of adding detail, you're actually going to be removing detail. So by default, if I draw over a series of edges, you'll see that it will actually collapse those edges. And it collapses them based on where I cross. So if I start down here and I end up up there, then it's going to collapse them based on the cross point of those edges. Let's undo that and we'll turn on edge snapping. And if I turn on edge snapping, then regardless of where I cross over these edges, it's always going to snap to the center point. So if I draw over right here, you can see I can get a nice collapse there in a very even way on both sides. Now I can also go in and I can turn on the delete edges mode. And the delete edges mode will do exactly that. So let's undo that last collapse and I'll just draw over some edges that I want to delete. And you'll see that it'll actually create a solid face based on the edges that I've interactively deleted. So I can come in here and I can get some really interesting results using this tool by crossing over a series of edges and then continuing up to the other side. And what you could see is that I've actually extruded, or rather extracted, a single face from this. So now you can see that is actually a single face, which could be essentially deleted to create some kind of a hole in my object or something of that nature. Let's undo that. 
So I'll reset my tool options and just show you quickly that similarly to the draw split tool, I can hold down shift and I can basically create a linear split across this object. And that will basically allow me to essentially collapse or delete edges all the way through the object. Now you'll notice this did call through to the back side, so it only split it split the front faces. However, if I repeat that with culling turned off and then draw over those, again creating a line, then it will split based on, uh, or rather it will collapse based on where I crossed those. So I can get a really interesting kind of uh, reduction uh, using these techniques. So again, if I were to hold, uh, or rather turn on edge snapping and do that same motion, then it's going to give me a more even result. So I can quickly start to basically go in and essentially clean up this object with a couple of strokes, basically removing uh, detail or removing edges, either by deleting them or collapsing them along the way.